Hi, I'm Kat, and I'm a young adult cancer survivor and Duke patient, and I'm making this video from quarantine to help show you how to put a wig on. So what you want to start with is a gripper band. That is this guy. You can get it wherever you buy your wig, or you can buy it online separately. I highly recommend this. It helps keep your wig in place. Uh, you definitely don't want your wig sliding. Um, so you fasten it around to your forehead like this. Use the Velcro tabs underneath to secure it. And I like to pull it back uh, if you do have growth, just to see a little bit of that growth. If you don't, pull it back a little bit slightly uh, farther than where your natural hairline would go. Then you have the option of putting on uh, one of these stocking caps. Uh, I suggest it for comfort if you don't have growth up there. And if you do, I still suggest it because it helps keep some of those curls and flyaways in place if you are uh, learning how to live with the chemo curls like I am. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a minute and kind of get this adjusted as you would too. You kind of keep it right around the gripper band and make sure all the hair is tucked underneath if you have any. And then from there, you're ready to put on your wig. You always wanna be gentle when handling your wig. Um, it definitely helps preserve the long longevity and the life of it. So every time I put it on, I have found that I tend to put it on um, kind of going left up. So what I like to do is kind of lean to the left and I turn it inside out and identify these felt tabs on the side. These are gonna fall where your ears are. Your thumbs can go there and you're able to uh, hold these tabs and lift them and pull them and not damage the wig itself. So I identify these tabs and then I start putting the wig on uh, by getting the front on your forehead first and then stretching the band to the back. So I will kind of demonstrate that in one fell swoop. So you put it around your forehead and I'm kind of starting to uh, pull the elastic down around where the gripper band or and or cap is. Um, it's a little bit smoother if I'm not trying to hold up the hair to show how that goes. Um, and then once you first have it on, obviously because uh, you want to put it on your forehead first and then pull it back, uh, it's gonna be much farther down your forehead than where you wanna wear it, and that's fine. You can always pull it back, but it's much harder to pull it forward. So I would give yourself kind of a, a lot of wiggle room with that. I always do myself, and then when I put it on, I kind of figure out where I wanna wear it. I put my thumbs on those felt tabs that I told you were gonna be around your ears, and they're right here. And I very gently lift my wig up and back. And then I would kind of look at myself and figure out, is that where I want it? Maybe adjust here and there, just ever so slightly with those tabs. Um, and then I highly recommend a comb to pull out some of those flyaways and little straggles that might be tucked underneath the wig or in the gripper band. And then I highly recommend using a comb for the maintenance of the wig. It's gonna be a lot more gentle on it. Um, so once you kind of have it on, you just want to spend some, some time in the mirror looking at if it's right for your hairline, if everything's lined up, and if that's nice and flat and where you want it to be. Um, we're going to be good to go.